Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Ashwini Kumar, a cybersecurity researcher and uh, a, a part of GDI Jalandhar team. So I'm a mentor of uh, week two cybersecurity, uh, like cybersecurity training, and uh, I will be discussing about the cybersecurity from intermediate to the advanced level, and I will be taking you to the practical journey of cybersecurity. So uh, this is the agenda of our uh, like week two. In the day one, uh, I will be discussing about the basics of the cybersecurity and penetration testing that we have already covered uh, in the week one. So day uh, day two will be of like setting up your uh, lab environment so that you can solve the CTF and uh, you can like cover up your journey of uh, like cyber security. Day three will be on uh, like uh, important tools of CTF and the bug bounty introduction to the CTF and uh, its categories will be discussed on the day four. Then day five and six will be like totally uh, totally like practically uh, we will dem demonstrate and solve some kind of a CTF labs and on the day seven. Uh, I will be discussing uh, the tasks that you need to complete uh, to get the cert uh, certificate from the JD Jalandhar. So uh, there is uh, some important notice that you need to be careful about. That is uh, all the content which is uh, shared, which will be shared throughout the boot camp, is strictly for educational purposes and lies under the code of conduct of JD Jalandhar. Requesting all the participants to follow the code of conduct seriously. Neither JD Jalandhar nor me will be responsible for any damage or harm caused by any participant. Following up with the topics that I need to be cover on the day one is this: uh, I will be discussing about what is cybersecurity, types of pen testing, phases of pen testing, or VASP, then information gathering, sniffing and spoofing, cryptography, and of course, uh, at the last, I will be discussing what we are gonna do next, right? So, starting up with the important concepts of the cyber security. Of course, uh, before starting the cyber security, uh, you should know the purpose why you are here, why we need the cyber security. What is the need of that? And like I can say, uh, in the previous year, we have already seen like there are so many of social uh, social engineering attacks that has been followed by the attacker uh, on like various uh, victims has been seen and various uh, cyber uh, crimes has been done. So uh, the cyber security knowledge uh, should be like spread uh, throughout the uh, throughout like generation, uh, whether that is uh, old generation or youth or someone else. So he must be aware of this cyber security, like what is the, uh, this, and uh, he should be educated about this uh, about this domain so that he can uh, not only uh, secure himself but also can uh, contribute into the cyber uh, securing the cyber space. So let's get started with the cyber security. So uh, before uh, like uh, discussing about what is cyber security, we need to know why are we here. So mostly uh, what the beginners do, they go for uh, to look cool, to show off their hacking skills, to bully someone or to commit crime. So we feel like they, we are here to uh, like look cool. We have to we uh, we have to be like wow. We have to show off what we have learned. So we we try to like uh, in this uh, just uh, showing off. We try to commit some kind of crime sometimes. So uh, like we are not uh, like uh, um, uh, among uh, among that uh, attacker. I would say uh, we are not like uh, like uh, them. If I can say like if uh, like you wanna look cool, there is some kind of uh, uh, like site that you can go for like uh, this is uh, like what you see in the movies right if i say this is what you see in movies and you like uh, everyone got like motivated and encouraged like this is something like uh, with uh, what the real hacking looks like but this is not this is not the security this is just uh, uh, i'm just typing the one uh, like uh, key on the keyboard and this is just happening automatically right so this is not our aim. I can just show you the many sites. If I go for another site, uh, there is. Uh, let me just show you the another site that can be like GreekBank.com. So you can see. This is another one. If I just add hacker. So see. This is what you see in movies, in the real movies, right? So uh, you all got like, wow, this is something uh, like really uh, a real thing going on. But this is not the real thing. This is just automation kind of thing. I'm not even touching my keyboard. I'm not uh, even touching my laptop right now. And this is just uh, like 
you can see my screen and this is what happening right so this is not the real like cyber security in the real you have to be like uh, more uh, like uh, more knowledgeable i would say you should learn various programming language you should be aware of many things to secure the cyber space right so don't uh, get like uh, motivated by this but get inspired from the real kind of things that you will be like needing in the cyber security so what are going to uh, what test cyber security let's start with the uh, like definition a very simple definition i have uh, uh, written for you guys so cyber security is actually the practice of defending the computers uh, server mobile devices electronic devices network and data so basically i can say whatever has been connected to the internet that needs to get the secure and to secure that we have like generalized the term that is the cyber security so from where we need to uh, like from where we need to uh, secure like we have to secure that from the malicious attacks that has been followed by attacker right so uh, of course uh, like everyone has the knowledge but everyone is uh, everyone is not using that knowledge for the uh, right thing like if even if you know like how to use the knife right if i go for using the knife knife can be like used in the in the both way in if i uh, talk about the good way then it can be uh, used to cut the fruits to cut the vegetable uh, vegetables and more right but uh, i on the either side it can be used to kill someone so uh, it is all upon you how you are using the tool how you are using the your knowledge uh, whether you are using in the like uh, right way or in in the wrong way so what this uh, cyber security uh, domain actually includes so i have just uh, written out the broad domains that is the network security application security information security of course uh, if you are like working on the network that network should be secure you should uh, you should like get and show like uh, whatever the network i am using that is actually uh, secure and uh, no one is actually reading my other data that i am sending to uh, sending to the receiver right similarly uh, if you are using some kind of web application maybe android application so uh, before that you uh, actually download the, from the uh, google play store by because you uh, you know that the uh, anything that would be downloaded from the google play store would be secure enough right so uh, like that's why uh, we need the cyber security so uh, we need the professionals for these kind of things right then uh, we have the cyber forensic after the like information security we have the cyber forensics and in the cyber forensic uh, you can just join the lee that is law enforcement agency so uh, that actually focus on the mostly on the cyber forensic kind of things and you can just join them so uh, that is another domain for the cyber security and at last uh, like i have you uh, what i have uh, written is the end user education uh, this is not only like uh, to get the job uh, if you don't want to get the job in the cyber security domain you need not to learn that is not the right thing but uh, the thing is you should learn cyber security for the like for your education uh, like for your education too because we have seen in the like previous two years like uh, every domain is now digitally connected with each other if we talk about the school if we talk about the business if we talk about uh, like uh, any another tech uh, tech company and the non tech company everyone is running their business everyone is running their uh, their company through the uh, digital domain right so uh, you need to ensure like whatever you are using is actually secure and for that you need uh, you need the knowledge of the cyber security right so following up like we should be uh, like we should have the knowledge about the cyber security and we should not only just gain the, the knowledge of that and keep it uh, uh, keep this uh, to ourselves only but we should like spread that knowledge among our family members uh, who is not aware of these techy kind of things most uh, more uh, like oftenly so you should like spread that among your non techy friends and many more right so this is just a broad domains that i have discussed but yeah there are many more domains there are many more jobs so you can just explore about the cyber security this is really really uh, like a big domain that you uh, like that you can dive in right so following up like what is penetration uh, like pen testing or the penetration testing and what are its types so this is uh, like we, what we have discussed in the week 1 so in the very short i will be like discussing about this thing okay so what is penetration testing like this is the uh, simulated cyber attack against your uh, 
computer system to check for the exploitable vulnerabilities. So what actually happened? Uh, the companies actually uh, hire the uh, security professional, uh, mostly as the penetration tester, so that uh, before the attacker, the penetration uh, tester will uh, do the testing uh, on their uh, application, on their network, on the uh, whatever uh, the, their digitally domain connected is, like whatever the devices or whatever the data is, uh, their data is connected to the internet. They need to secure that. And for that, uh, they hire the security professional. So. Uh, what the penetration tester do, they actually uh, like test that and uh, they just uh, take out the vulnerabilities if there, uh, there is any and they patch up that before the attacker can attack and gain the actual uh, like uh, actual data, actual uh, access of uh, over their internet. Fine. So there is like that is where the penetration tester uh, came into the field. So uh, like this is the penetration testing. And of course, uh, if we talk about the penetration testing, then there are three types of penetration testing that we have uh, like already discussed in the subject, like computer science subject. That is a software engineering. In, the, in that, we have uh, talked about the black box, white box, and gray box the testing. So from there, uh, like uh, we have uh, like uh, this, uh, that uh, actually connected to the penetration testing even. So in which like we can see the blackboard testing where uh, the penetration tester has the zero knowledge where uh, none of the knowledge has been give, uh, given to him where none of the uh, you can say none of the privilege have uh, has been given to him and he has to uh, like gain the uh, like gain the publicly available data and then he has to follow the uh, ne next step so basically what he is doing he is actually uh, like testing as the attacker he's uh, like uh, behaving like an attacker and then he is testing and finding out what kind of vulnerabilities uh, he can find out in the system or in the like uh, network or anything right so uh, this is like uh, i feel like this this is the more like better way of doing the penetration testing by because uh, this is the like real scenario that the attacker will be getting to hack the system or to hack into the company so this uh, if uh, uh, like ba blackboard testing is uh, done beforehand then uh, it will be like most likely to like secure the like uh, company's uh, network, company's data, or uh, anything that is connected uh, over the internet, right? Then it comes like the uh, whiteboard testing in which uh, the penetration tester uh, has been given the privilege, uh, privilege like okay, he has been given the code, he has been given uh, the like uh, whatever the like software he has to test upon. So uh, like everything has been provided to him, and then he looks into the code, and then he looks into the system uh, and then he does uh, do the penetration testing and applies the phases or different phases of the penetration testing and uh, uh, basically what uh, he is doing he is actually testing as the developer mostly like uh, the developer has the code right developer has write the code but developer is not aware of like uh, what is the security part so for that uh, like penetration tester comes into the field and uh, like white uh, whitehead penetration tester like comes into the field and they uh, do the uh, white block uh, white box penetration testing where uh, they are going to test as the developer and having the full uh, knowledge uh, full knowledge of the code but uh, like uh, whatever the language has been written whatever the code has been written uh, where that uh, site has been deployed so he need not to uh, like search for that particular data so companies already providing him uh, that that uh, data beforehand so then there comes the gray box so in the gray box, like uh, the gray box uh, penetration tester, what they do, they have to think like uh, black hat too, and uh, like a bla uh, black, uh, black box penetration tester too, and the white box penetration tester too, right? Before, uh, like uh, uh, at the first, they have to think like an attacker and they will just gain, uh, try to gain the access of the like system. And uh, if not, uh, like he is not able to find the vulnerabilities, then he will go for the uh, like uh, uh, white box penetration testing. So he will also think like a like a, a developer too, right? So that is the like a, a different way of like working of the different penetration testers. So as I have already said, like the black box penetration tester is uh, like the better according to me because uh, actually they, that actually gives the like real scenario to the attacker. And if you can think like an attacker, you can like secure the like network, your data, and your web application or any kind of application beforehand. Uh, the attacker can gain the access, right? Then uh, there comes the phases of the pen testing. 
so uh, like there of course we have discussed about the different phases of the penetration testing from like information gathering to making the report uh, we have to follow up the penetration testing like step by step and these are the like uh, the very first step that is the information gathering in which the penetration tester what we he will do he will just gather the uh, publicly available information publicly available information and then uh, what he will be doing uh, Recon that is also known as the reconnaissance, and of course, I will be discussing about the information gathering in more like detail uh, in the upcoming slide. But uh, that is like uh, of two types. Information gathering is of two types. That is the passive and active. So, what uh, is the passive information gathering? Okay, whatever is available on Google, whatever is available on like uh, publicly available. So, the attacker will uh, attacker or the penetration tester. Uh, will gain the that uh, that information and follow uh, follow up the next steps uh, like on the basis of what he has uh, gathered uh, right now right and the next thing is the active one in the active what is doing in the uh, passive he is not making the any kind of connection right he is not uh, like making any connection he is just uh, collecting the data that is already available on the google but in the active uh, information gathering he is trying to connect with the uh, like uh, maybe ip address he is trying to connect with the web application he is just sending the request and then receiving the response from them and uh, like it is similar like he is uh, first becoming the friend and then uh, 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 then he is knowing the secret of yours right so it is similar like that so one thing is uh, someone is uh, the passive is uh, someone is not becoming your friend but just uh, like uh, he is just following you and just say, uh, uh, like looking up what you are Uh, like uh, from where route you are following uh, what kind of uh, like uh, data you are accessing or something like that fine so i hope like you are clear with the passive and active kind of things so it will be discussed uh, in like uh, in detail in the upcoming days too so uh, ne next step is the scanning after uh, like uh, we have gathered the information uh, on the basis of what we have gathered we follow up the next step that is scanning in the scanning part what we do uh, we uh, scan the whole uh, the like whatever we have got like if i if i have the like uh, if i have got the ip address of uh, some network uh, i will be using some kind of tool that is like uh, known as a uh, network mapper i will be using the nmap and i will be like scanning that whole network and uh, then of course i will be finding uh, finding if there is some kind of vulnerabilities or not right so the scanning is okay uh, if uh, like similar example we can take of the web application too so in the web application you are just scanning the whole code so applying the automate uh, automation uh, like uh, testing like i i can show you uh, one of uh, the tool that you have already used in that uh, like mm, pentest2.n so i guess in the like uh, week one task you have used this uh, this kind of tool to automate the test sorry uh so i guess this is what you have used uh, or like to gather the information of uh, a particular person of uh, like gd and the team so of course uh like uh, this is uh, this is uh, what you uh, like uh, give the this is what uh, this uh, what this tool actually does is scan the whole code if i like uh, give the domain of particular thing like if i am scanning the website scanner fine and i am giving any domain to him like uh, suppose ekumar.tech okay so uh, let's just not scan it right now uh, because it will just give out the vulnerabilities and you will be able to like uh, gather that information so let's just follow up uh, after like sometimes you like uh, i have shown you like you have you can use these kind of uh, like tools so it will provide you two free scans for a particular day and for 24 hours so you can use these uh, tools to scan any kind of web, uh, web application uh, to find out the vulnerabilities right so on the basis of uh, uh, like you will find uh, there is some kind of vulnerability maybe like uh, sqli fine and then following up what uh, you have gathered uh, the information from the scanning part you will try to exploit that and you, you will try to gain the access over that particular uh, maybe web application or the network or anything that has been given to you and that has been given to you in the scope right so 
uh, in the exploitation part, what you will be doing, you will try to exploit that vulnerability so that you uh, you will try like how much data I am getting through this vulnerabilities. I, is this uh, vulnerability like uh, literally like it is uh, critical or not? It is like uh, am I getting am uh, like uh, if the attacker will attack and exploit this vulnerability? What kind of data he is getting through uh, this uh, this kind of vulnerabilities? So on the basis of this, uh, like uh, you can uh, you can like say the risk level. You can define the risk level of uh, any vulnerabilities. Fine. So uh, the mostly what the penetration tester do, they try to gain the access. Mostly, uh, if you are like uh, looking up the vulnerability into a system, you will try in the Linux system. If I say more specifically, then you will try to get the root uh, root access so that you can gain the uh, like control of everything. In the web application, you will try to gain the like access of admin so that you can uh, like control everything, right? So uh, you actually try to get that, but uh, even uh, if a small vulnerability is there. Even that is helpful for any attacker or as a penetration tester, you have to, you can't just ignore that uh, vulnerability and you have to uh, like cover up in, into your report in the latest step. Then the next part is if I have exploited the system, if I have exploit, exploited the network, I have get into that. And then my aim is uh, maintaining the access, like how long I can maintain the access. Maybe uh, you are here, you can use uh, SAST, that is, if I can show you. So uh, you can use this static analysis, uh, like uh, system tool and uh, like using this kind of thing. OK, so you can go for like finding out the SAST and then you can just read out the, uh, about the SAST and uh, DAST, fine. So uh, on the basis of this, like you can go for uh, like maintaining the access and how you can do so. You can just uh, like use this uh, like C99 is there and then you can use any kind of backdoor uh, programs or you can even write your own backdoor program uh, so that you can maintain the access over that particular network or over the particular uh, domain, right? So uh, maybe if you have uh, like a, uh, that is actually the attacker will do. So you have to think like an attacker. So the, that is what the penetration test, uh, tester actually does. Fine. So after all, uh, what is the job of like next thing is the covering up the tracks that you have uh, gone through. Uh, why? That is, a, uh, of course, uh, if you are just uh, following up some kind of steps and you have leave the footprints of your steps, the same, uh, the same uh, footprint uh, can be follow, uh, follow, uh, followed up by an attacker and he can gain the access uh, like uh, on the just uh, what you uh, what you have gone through right suppose uh, uh, like uh, it is similar like uh, the scenario uh, some thief is going into the house suppose and uh, he's uh, uh, like uh, uh, he's uh, breaking into the house he just come out to the house and uh, but uh, what he leaves he just le uh, leaves the footprint uh, behind uh, behind him right so now when the cop will come, when the police will come, what they will do, they will, uh, if they find out that particular uh, like foot, uh, footsteps of the like uh, attacker uh, or the thief, he will just follow up that footstep and he can catch that. Like fine. So this, uh, this scenario can be done in the vice versa too. So the so penetration tester has to cover up each and every track so that it will be not, uh, it, it uh, should not get used by any attacker in the further, uh, like in the further scenarios. So uh, the covering up tra track is also like the main part of the uh, like uh, penetration testing. And the last part is the POC and the report. So if I talk about the POC and report, uh, that is the like uh, most uh, uh, like uh, the struggling part of the penetration tester. Why? Uh, because he has to make the report more specifically for uh, like uh, uh, for the both thing, like uh, for the both, like uh, for the manager too who is not aware of the tech, uh, techie thing kind of thing. And for the uh, like developer too, who has to pass the, that vulnerabilities if, uh, the, if the penetration tester has find any, fine. So like, uh, like uh, your manager, the manager of the company is not interesting uh, in the part like, okay, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like uh, uh, as a manager, I don't know uh, what is this SQLi uh, vulnerability is, fine. What is this SQLi? What is this OVASP? You're talking about 
so what is the risk factor of this he just know like how much my data is secure how much my system or the network is secure just tell me that fine so you have to make the report more specifically uh, uh, like uh, to him like to show to him even and for the developer he will be interesting in the more technical part like uh, okay what what are the impact of this vulnerability uh, how what are the counter measures of this vulnerability how i can patch that so uh, you will be making the different report for the uh, for the developer too so this is like uh, the last part and the most uh, crucial part of even so you have to focus on right now after uh, discussing about the phases of the penetration testing so it it was like totally like theory kind of thing has been going on so making it more like interesting uh, i uh, let me just show you uh, this uh, game if you already know about this then that's good like uh, uh, you uh, you guys have already like played the uh, played this game right if i talk about dino whenever in the like uh, uh whenever the network goes you uh, in the like childhood we used to play this uh, this thing even right no doubt now you having the most like advanced game uh, like pubg and all but yeah at uh, at our childhood at the 90s uh, the 90s ch child will be knowing this kind of thing right so they were actually enjoying these games <laughs> okay so let me just show you uh, if i want to play this game and i always want to win so what i will be doing as a hacker i can just uh, what i will be doing i will be inspecting that i will be like going into the developer tool this is what the like developer tool looks like so uh, following up the developer tool you can like find up what are the sources of this tool and you can find the various uh, uh, various files over here so uh, you need to be uh, care, like you need uh, the knowledge of this uh, tools even so uh, like this is uh, this will be helpful for you as the web penetration tester as a bug hunter too so uh, like uh, following up uh, with the hack, with, with a small hack what i will be doing i will be just uh, following up a small uh, function that is this so you can just see it with this now this game will not end see so this this game is not getting over because like i have just uh, like uh, changed the small function like uh, the function is now just uh, going on without uh, like uh, without triggering a like over function over that fine so game is not getting over so what is the purpose of showing this uh, i just want you to know like we uh, as a, a penetration tester as a like a cyber security researcher you should have the knowledge of these kind of things too you should have the knowledge of technology basically you should have uh, like uh, the knowledge of basic uh, different uh, programming lang uh, languages most of the like uh, like researcher what they say in their like youtube videos i can say uh, they uh, mention this like uh, uh, you you not uh, you do not need any like knowledge of programming languages to come into this uh, cyber uh, like cyber security domain but that's not actually true uh, you should have the knowledge uh, basically what i can say you uh, must have the basic uh, knowledge of uh, like the basic uh, uh, you should have cover up all the programming uh, basic programming concepts uh, that should be on your uh, like fingertips and what you can do you can just uh, at least swift like uh, you can so uh, switch the different languages on the basis of what the company has provided uh, you, uh, to you uh, suppose the company have want you to uh, like uh, Uh, want you to secure uh, the application that has been written into the C++ or maybe into the Go language, and you don't know that, but you know the basic uh, concept of the like basic programming concept. What you will be doing, you will be just uh, like uh, learning the uh, like uh, learning the syntax, learning the uh, basic code of that language, and you will be able to secure that particular uh, application too, right? So th uh, that is where uh, the game of uh, like uh, penetration tester come. so this this was a small hack that you can do and this is just uh, a very small thing but uh, that you can enjoy but yeah uh, this uh, the purpose of showing uh, i hope that you have clear about that right next thing uh, we have to discuss about what is ovas this is the most important thing if you are coming into the cyber security domain mostly if you are like coming in, uh, into the web application security part then you must be aware of like ovas most of the companies they are a uh, higher professional on the basis of uh, are you having like uh, the knowledge of uh, wasp or not 
are you able to cover up like the uh, are you having the knowledge how to patch the uh, OWASP vulnerabilities or OWASP top time vulnerabilities or not fine so what is OWASP so OWASP stands for the open web application security part so this is the non profit uh, foundation that uh, is uh, dedicated to improving the security of the software so this is the open uh, open source and it is totally free you can find that on like uh, you can find on this ovast pen just go for the ovast top 10 and you will find the basic uh, like uh, website of the ovast pen or top 10 here and you will find the top 10 vulnerabilities here see this is like uh, that that is updated into uh, 2017 uh, and after 2017 it was expected to get update into 2021 but uh, yeah maybe it will get uh, in, in like in the near future it will get updated soon fine so you need the knowledge of this like uh, what is the sql injection of course injection code injection then the broken authentication and all so you you have uh, you need to uh, like uh, have the you know, knowledge about this fine so as a web presentation tester the vast top 10 uh, is going to help you a lot so uh, at the starting this was only for the web application uh, project as a web application project but now uh, this is also improving the security for the android even and you can just search for the android and you will get the android uh, like a vast too fine let me just find it for you uh i forget the okay mobile security you can see that uh west mobile security top 10 so even that is uh, fine so as an android security researcher you can go for that as a mobile security researcher you can just find out what kind of a project and the uh, like vulnerabilities has been there and along with you will find the description and you will find like more about this project and all so just you can just explore about this fine so you can just explore later on so if i talk about the like a wasp uh, top 10 so if i talk uh, like talk about the wasp top 10 there you can see the injection uh, that is uh, that is the most uh, found uh, found uh, vulnerabilities in the web application uh, like sql injection and the code injection is the most like uh, crucial thing that will give you the data of the like backend data of any like web server so the next thing is a uh, uh, broken authentication of course that is uh, at the same place then the xss uh, has been like uh, gone down uh, maybe uh, the developers and the uh, like everyone who is uh, developing uh, is aware of the javascript and the security about uh, like that uh, the javascript need to be controlled fine so uh, the next thing you can see the like uh, a7 and a4 has been merged here and that has been uh, like included in the a5 so this is like uh, how the OWASP top 10 uh, actually gives you the lot and lot of uh, information about the different kind of vulnerabilities. This is not enough. Like you can just search for a particular vulnerability, like uh, what is a broken authentication, how this uh, uh, like this can be patched up, how uh, what are the countermeasure steps and all. Fine. So it will help you to uh, like uh, improving the security of your software. So learning about OWASP is really important as the web, uh, web penetration tester. Fine. And the next thing is information gathering that we have talked about what we have talked about the, in the information gathering. Uh, like I have already told you like what this information gathering is that is the very first step of the like uh, as the penetration tester. Right. So uh, like uh, uh, what we can do uh, I can show you if I want to call right. I, uh, I'm just using this uh, this domain I'm just using uh, like uh, I just want the publicly available data. Uh, of this particular domain and you can see this is the data that has been uh, like done in the content type that is like HTML okay st 2 okay 200 that's why it's uh, shown then you can see the CF divide cookie that has been there and uh, that expires HTTP only has been done and everything about the like uh, that particular domain has been shown here right so this is what uh, like you can get uh, about like information that you can get about the in the public publicly fine next thing is uh, who is so uh, in the who is uh, that has been like used uh, you can see if i can talk about this particular domain we have uh, we can gather the information about uh, who is like you can see here fine this is the information uh, domain name is this 
then id register id then where it is hosted and uh, host, like the host uh, url of the host and the date everything that uh, that is publicly available you can get through that fine so name servers from like two name server has been added, added to it so you can get the information with that so this is the one of the tool for the information gathering fine and then you can explore the kali tools that is like you can see here in the application you can see the various uh, information gathering tools that is like you can see metego and map uh, and map can be used for scanning to then then uh, uh, recon ng uh, net discover that will like uh, help you in discovering the different domains fine so these are the information gathering tools and you can even uh, download more fine so these are the like uh, next thing is the metego the recon ng as i have already shown you that is available in the kali even recon ng here fine then the next thing is the, the harvester if i can show you in this uh, terminal if, if that is available fine so this is the harvester tool so this is the tool uh, the harvester so that you can use uh, in the for the information gathering part fine next thing is shodan dot uh, io that even gives you that is the search engine that will give you a lot and lot of information uh, if i like uh, simply if i search for web camera uh, along with it actually gives you the vulnerabilities too so that might be helpful for any like uh, bug hunter any kind of thing so this is like you can see if i talk about uh, camera only let me just show you so you can see uh, the state uh, where it is uh, like hosted where it is so you can just uh, talk, go on the https what are the https and go on so you need to just uh, log in into that to get the filter research this is just uh, what what is shown as the like publicly publicly fine so you can see these data right the metadata that can be used x robots tag and all so you can use uh, like you can see uh, many data like many data over there this is really a very good search engine for the uh, like for the researcher fine so uh, these are the tools that you that will be helpful for your information gathering part so this will give you the information that is uh, like uh, the publicly available so uh, the next thing is sniffing and spoofing if i talk about sniffing and spoofing uh, sniffing is similarly like okay if i talk about sniffing the one uh, one term is you might have heard about this uh, is dropping right so what this meant uh, what uh, what what is the meaning of this uh, word that is actually secretly listening to any conversation right so that uh, that is similarly like in the technical domain that is actually the sniffing if you are monitoring and capturing all the data packets passing through any kind of in, uh, like network you will be able like you are actually sniffing the process right so uh, from the sniffing process i can gain the sensitive data too suppose uh, like someone is using uh, like i am getting the request from i'm sniffing the uh, request uh that is following up on the http protocol and someone is uh, like uh, writing and someone is writing his password someone is uh, like uh, putting his password and i can just uh, like uh, by just by sniffing i can get the password as it is right that's why we say always use the https fine so uh, like with the sniffing part i can gather uh, many sensitive information so uh, and the tool that can be used for the sniffing of course the bioshark is a very famous tool that uh, that can be used for the sniffing part right and the next thing that we have talk about is the spoofing so spoofing is like uh, acting like someone else like similarly acting like as the trusted source like suppose uh, i am acting like the ceo of company and i am i am telling you just uh, uh, just give me the access to particular uh, like particular account so that i can make the changes that is like uh, i need to uh, like do that uh, right now so uh, as a like uh, you will uh, you will trust that the victim will trust like okay the ceo has demanded that but the, what the attacker the attack, attacker has done already attacker has uh, spoofed the email spoofed the account of the ceo and he is just uh, sending uh, the request as the ceo but that uh, that the respond will not actually go to ceo but it will go 
actually to the attacker so that is like the act of spoofing and it comes under the social engineering attack right so this is actually illegal and uh, so what kind of thing can uh, that can be spoofed in the week one uh, like uh, the mentor has already shown you uh, the email spoofing so the email phone calls website can be spoofed so like uh, uh, your ip address the arp and this uh, like domain and server can be like spoofed and get uh, you can get the sensitive information about that if i talk about the like uh, sp uh, sniffing and spoofing uh, like uh, tools in the kali there are like different tools the most famous and the most commonly used is the wireshark this one that will be like cover up in the like upcoming days rather you can use for like uh, eater cap then uh, net sniff ng so this will just uh, this is like for the sniffing part right so these kind of things can be done through the kali and uh, you can just uh, it will be helpful for you as a penetration tester too then there comes uh, the cryptography part right in the cryptography what is cryptography it is actually uh, it is actually the art of hiding the message like art of hiding the message i, I can say uh, you can encrypt and decrypt if anyone knows about the encryption and decryption part what we do uh, if i can, uh, let me just show you one tool that we, you will be even using in the upcoming days so this is this is crypt act fine crypt uh, com that will be like uh, helpful for to encode and decode that if i encode some kind of thing okay let me just encode it for you uh, hello there so you are uh, like uh, encoding that suppose uh, i'm using the very simple one that is the caesar cipher what i'm doing i'm just forwarding it uh, to the 13th digit fine i'm just shifting that uh, uh, like each and everything to the uh, 13 uh, digits the h uh, like you will see uh, uh, like 13 plus uh, like h plus 13 that actually comes to the u fine if we go for in the al alphabetical order then uh, uh, after like adding the 13 digits uh, to the s it will go to the u and similar to e it will go to r and for the ll you can see the double letters ll and you will here see you can see the yy right so this is the very simple kind of encryption i can say uh, the caesar cipher so that is actually just shif uh, shifting the digits uh, like uh, number like uh, the particular digits like in the number of uh, digits you can say uh 13 digits i have like shift here right similarly if i just copy that uh, if i just uh, do the reverse of this you can see the decoder is there like if i decode the same uh, same message that will uh, like decode and it will you will get the same the original message of that fine so this is what the the encryption and decryption is all about and commonly this is actually known as the art of uh, cryptography fine so apart from the cryptography we will like uh, we uh, even talk about uh, hiding the message into the picture that is a stenography right so we will like see that into the in the ctf and we will see different kind of tools even uh, like for that so for now uh, like the cryptography is like uh, uh, the combination of we can say like in the similar term, in the simple term i can say this is just a combination of encryption and decryption fine so there are various methods not only the caesar cipher you can just explore and you can see uh, many uh, many things uh, transform then alpha words like okay you can use a morse code fine so that was a uh, like small task that has been given to you then the rod 13 that is like uh, most famous for the stb uh, to log in into stb uh, they actually give you the small task uh, that is dependent upon the rod 13 even right so encoding on the basis of 64 this is the most commonly find like uh, base 64 encrypt the data and do base 64 right so you have to do that so uh, this is uh, what is uh, about the cryptography so what uh, what's next of course uh, we have done we have covered uh, everything mostly like uh, about the like what we have discussed in the week one but still if you have uh, if you want to uh, deep dive into that you can just go on the youtube channel of gdg there you can find the playlist uh, okay there you can find the playlist of uh, cybersec 1 and this is the playlist of cybersec 1 and you can just uh, revise the whole thing into more deeply uh, like uh, what uh, 
uh, what our mentor has already said that uh, you can see mitigating the cyber crime that was like missed in this uh, in the today's topic and the important concept uh, like I have already discussed about the cyber security penetration and the different phases of the penetration testing and all then the hands on that will be like covering up in the following days fine. So uh, you can just uh, go through this uh, playlist if you want, like if you are the beginner, if you haven't attended that week one. So that will be like a little bit helpful for you guys uh, to learn, the, like uh, uh, to learn because uh, in the following days, I will be like following up with the CTF part. Uh, what is CTF? Like if I talk about uh, what is CTF, we will be solving up, uh, like we will be like setting up a lab environment uh, tomorrow. And then uh, following up in the following days, we will be talk talking about what is CTF from the very basics. I will be taking you, uh, taking you to the journey and on actually practicing, uh, pra practicing the different labs. Fine. So there are different categories of the CTF and I will be discussing about that categories and I will be solving up the labs on live uh, here only. And uh, you will be learning about that. Fine. So tomorrow we will be discussing about uh, the like we will be setting up a lab. So you need to uh, like uh, download the Kali uh, ISO file beforehand, and you have to down like download uh, the uh, record, like virtual box. If I say uh, virtual box, you can just uh, Oracle VM virtual box. You can see. So uh, just go on this domain, and uh, you can just find uh, like you can just download according to your own PC. Uh, like uh, what your PC, is, you can see like downloads here. Yeah. Fine. So in the downloads, you can see whatever your distro is, whatever your desktop is containing. If you are on the Windows, you can just find the Windows package and you can download according to your different like uh, PC configuration. Fine. If either that is uh, 32 bit or uh, like uh, 64 bit, so you can find that. And along with the virtual uh, box, I can say the Kali SO file. Fine. So you can download this even. Uh, because uh, our lab environment will be containing of the Kali. Uh, we have to work on the Kali tools. Uh, with the, We have to play with the Kali tools. So you must have uh, configured the Kali in your virtual box, right? So this is the image name. So from here, you can download that. The size is like uh, really big. So you can uh, download that beforehand so that we can, uh, we will not uh, waste our time in downloading uh, like while the session, right? So, just go on these two domains you, know, you, you will find uh, the material to download and uh, uh, download according to your like configuration fine so tomorrow we will be like discussing about uh, we will be setting up a lab and uh, we will be following up uh, this session uh, into the practical way so thank you uh, till then so meet you tomorrow